Hey guys and welcome back for another tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this balaclava kids hat. This hat is perfect for the cold weather months. It's made of a fleece fabric and covers the whole head. Now with all my tutorials I have a pattern available over at the blog post which is linked below as well as the information icon. I also have a subsequent video over at the Facebook group to show you how to assemble the pattern. So you can go over to the Facebook group which is also linked below. Don't forget to follow and of course check that video out. And of course if you're not already I would love it if you subscribed and smash the like button as the kids like to say. Okay so let's get started. So I'm just going to quickly show you how I cut out the pattern pieces. So as you can see with fleece there's going to be one way that stretches more. So we're actually going to be lining up the pattern piece um, next to the selvage and we're going to get the most stretch from side to side. There will be a grain line um, indicator on the pattern piece so you know which way to place it um, along the stretch. You want to have the most stretch to go around your head as opposed to the top of your head to your neck. So I'm just going to go ahead and put my fabric with the right sides together and I'm going to cut out my pattern piece. I want to have it um, mirrored just because I want to have you know for both sides of the head. I don't want to have the pattern piece both going the same way. Now with fleece there will be a smooth side and then a more textured side and that more soft textured side it's a little bit more fluffy will be the right side of your fabric. And then I'm going to cut out the rectangle which will be listed on the pattern piece. And again, I'm going to be doing that along the selvage because I want the stretch to go from side to side, not lengthways on that rectangle. So you will only need the two pieces cut out from the pattern and then one long rectangle. I love this hat, it works up so quickly and I will be using a regular sewing machine for this tutorial but you could of course use a serger if you want to finish off those edges but the great thing about fleece is it doesn't fray so you don't really have to worry about it so the first thing I'm going to do is start to put the center strip onto the back of the hat that's going to go from the forehead all the way to the back of your neck I'm going to put those with the right sides together and I'm going to align that up with the curved part of your pattern piece and I'm going to clip this all into place just because fleece is a little bit slippery. It does have a tendency to shift when sewing. So I'm going to use lots of clips and pins just to make sure everything stays nice and in place. So for this tutorial, I will be using, like I said, a regular sewing machine. I'll be using a regular presser foot. But feel free if you like to use your walking foot with your regular sewing machine or you can use your serger to finish off those edges. Um, so it's totally up to you what you wanna do. Um, but with these hats, just for my kids, um, it's no big deal to just, you know, use the regular sewing machine. And if you do have a problem with your fabric shifting, you can use your walking foot. And if you have no idea what that is, or maybe you have seen it in your little, you know, the foot stash that you get with some machines these days. I will have a link in the top right hand corner of this video where you can go ahead and check out what exactly a walking foot is. So now that you have the one side put on, I'm going to go ahead and put the other side on. And again, we're gonna line up that long edge of the rectangle with the curved edge of our side hat pattern piece. And I'm going to again, put a ton of pins, just because, <laughs> uh, I mean, I did start winging it eventually, but with this next step, um, you need to be very precise when you're putting on this second piece. So when you do do it, you know, you need to check, make sure that it's all lined up. As you can see, that little rectangle, it's kind of off. So I just had to adjust my clips and adjust that, you know, just the seam allowance and things just if you don't get it perfect it can be a little bit off and as you can see now it's perfect so you just got to go back over it make sure that it is all nice and exactly the same on the other side and then you won't have any problem twisting and as you can see the little rectangle there um, it is a little bit long but that's just you know 
just in case you have a larger or smaller seam allowance or you know I just gave you a little bit more extra room so we will snip that off later on and then I'm just gonna go ahead and put the front of the hat together and I'm just gonna place some pins in it so we're gonna do that all at one time so again we're gonna sew along this edge and we're gonna use the same seam allowance that we use on the other side of the hat I use about a quarter of an inch seam allowance and then I will sew the front of the hat which is under the chin area with that same uh, quarter of an inch seam allowance so after that then you will have the basic shape of your hat and we can move on to hemming around the face and around the bottom of the hat I'm just gonna snip off all of my threads and then trim off any excess fabric from that rectangle panel so now I'm just going to flip it right sides out so you can see how it is looking I will hem it in this way but you can hem it inside out or right side out whatever you want to do I'm just going to fold in the fabric about a half an inch and I'll place some pins all the way around it um, because I'm using the regular sewing machine I will be using a zigzag stitch if you want to use your serger or your I think it's called a cover stitch machine you can do that for this section but I am just going to be using a regular zigzag so if you're just using a normal sewing machine like me um, it's super easy the zigzag stitch is a stretch stitch so because of these areas there will be some stretch in the fabric you want your thread to you know stretch with the fabric so that you're not having seams busting open so we're just going to use a zigzag and then that will allow the seam to stretch with a fabric and your hat still stays nice and intact so I'm just going to test out my zigzag on a scrap piece of fleece before I get started um, you want to make sure you know where your needle is before you get going so I'm just going to go ahead and do that zigzag stitch I am going to be going over top of the raw edge of the fabric that's just going to help to pin it down so there's no fabric rubbing weirdly on your little ones faces and then I will do that at the bottom of the hat as well so that's what's great about doing that stitch also is it sort of finishes off those raw edges as well and just keeps things nice and flat I am using a white thread for demonstration purposes so if you're not great at zigzag I would definitely recommend using a matching thread but it also can add a little bit of an accent color to your hat I also made this in a two-tone so with that center panel in a different fabric um, so if you want to check out other pictures of other hats that I have made you can check out those photos over at the blog post and of course share with all of your friends and of course if you're not already I would love it if you subscribed and hit that notification bell and all that fun stuff so thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next tutorial bye guys